Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, they ask, they say that we have a standard, standard distribution. We have a mean of 50. So just like anything else, I am just going to write in the mean right there. Then they say that we have one standard deviation is going, or I'm sorry, one standard deviation is 6. So we know that within the first standard deviation, we have 34% per, of the data. So if I'm going to add one standard deviation, I'm now going to have 56 and 44. Does everybody follow me on what I, how I found those values within the first standard deviation? They say standard deviation is equal to 6. So I added and subtracted. Within the next standard deviation is 13.5%. Okay, And that value is going to be 38. And that's going to be 62. So that's one standard deviation. That's two standard deviations. And then the last one is the third deviation, which you know is 2.35%. 2.35%. And you will need to know these percentages. So if I subtract again, that's going to be 32. And that will be 66. And that's three deviations. Okay. So number 20, it says um, determine the, find the probability that a value selected at random is in the given interval at most 56. <clears throat> um, so the, basically, the best thing to do, guys, is remember the tough thing about standard dis distribution is 99.7% of the data is accounted for. But we don't have that 0 0.03, right? We don't have that 0 0.03. So we have to be very careful. We just can't say, oh, at most 56, let's just add this, this, and this, because we still have this, which we don't know, right? We could do fourth, you know, fourth standard devi deviation, and we can keep on going smaller, but we're still never going to get absolute the percentage. So to account for these, what we're going to do is we know we have at most 56, right? So we can't go any higher than 56, correct? Now, if the mean is directly in the middle, then what percentages is it from the mean all the way to the left? Of our data, what percentage is that? 50%. So I know from 50% down, or from 50, the mean, there is 50%. Now, how much farther do I need to go from here to at most 56? 34. <clears throat> so that's going to give me. 84%. If you were just to add 34 plus 34 plus 13.5 plus 2.35, that's going to be very close to 84, but it's not going to be your exact percentage. OK? So make sure, guys, the kind of the trick that we're going to have with these is this parts of the data that is not accounted for. So therefore, we have to want to use our we don't want to guess or assume these at all. We want to make sure that we can account for that by using the mean is exactly 50% halfway in the data. OK?